All right. Let's give this a go. We'll go, we'll go try Parsival in this configuration. This is a really weird configuration, right? We've gone... Her stealth and her secondary range are the same range, so we've gone with a bit of a secondary build, and we've buffed the bomber health. Um, what we learned about these ships playing the Tier 6 ship earlier... Oh, I like Kaga with the concealment build, Lang. I like Kaga with the concealment build. I don't... Kaga has so many planes on deck, that Tier 5... That, that upgrade slot 5 module isn't worth it for her. But you put concealment in there, and now I have... My, the Torpedo Bombers have a 6.1 detection. I ha I'll have the Torpedo Bombers on the deck running in on somebody before uh, before they even know that I'm there. Um, but anyways, what we, learned about, what we learned about German carriers in the Tier 6 ship earlier is the AP rockets are highly questionable. The dive bombs are actually quite good. They can be made to work. And the torpedoes, you can get good work out of the torpedoes against certain targets. You have to know... You have to spend a little time figuring out what that is, right? All right. Who wants to dance? All right. This ship is pretty stealthy for a carrier, kids. Let's take the rockets out early just to do a little spotting because they are fast. Um, but I have to be... One of the things about playing this ship in this configuration, I have to be pretty cautious of my plane reserves. The rockets respawn quickly. Uh, the other two do not respawn all that fast. So, Shark, we've struggled to Citadel light cruisers with these things today. Um, I was able to Citadel a Pensacola with the Tier 6. Um, some of it is also learning how to aim them. I'm learning that you don't... When I play rockets on, like, my Enterprise, as an example, I take a rocket attack in at full speed, right? Full boost. What I'm learning is that I don't want to do that with these rockets when I'm doing that. I couldn't Citadel like a Legalissian Air, for example, and that really that really ticked me off. I felt like I should have been able to Citadel a Legalissian Air. We're going to try the Minotaur, by the way. Oh, no. Let's try the San Luis. Approaching target. I'm going to do a bit of a run-up just to get in here. And bam. No, not much there. Not much there. Which isn't really surprising. He was giving me a bit of an angle, uh, and then most of those went to the stern. So it wasn't a great shot. But you kind of you kind of get to see you kind of get to see what it was. Well, and that was the thing, McGib. It took me about two runs to figure out how to use the rockets against the Pensacola. It wasn't as easy as you might have expected initially. We're gonna go play behind this island for the moment. See that Izumo over by himself? We're gonna go send him some dive bombers. Oh, look at these. Oh, God, these are beautiful. Look at these planes. They've even got nose art. I love these things. Oh, these look so cool. Look at this. Yes. Oh, I love that they chose the BF-110 for this model. I love this. God, these look amazing. Look at these planes. I just want to stare at them. I just want to stare at them. They just look so good. I see you, Webby. I see you over there, buddy. Don't think I don't. Oh, Shush Castle. I'm, I'm too busy admiring the art department's handiwork. All right, let's get over here in front of this Izumo. Oh, good, the Minotaur torpedoed an Asashio. Now, this is going to be a short game. Taking fire. Now, the weird thing about these bombers, if you guys weren't here for the earlier games, is the, the reticle is in a weird place. And I ate a face full of flak. But I have a heal now. Ha 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 ha. Approaching target. Oh, he's going to feel that. Well, three pins. It's at least decent damage. I'm going to get one more runoff. I can see him. The Enterprise trying to bring more fighters in. He's going to get him off. But I'm going to get this dive bomb runoff before these fighters land. Approaching target. Taking fire. It's fine. You're going to slaughter all my planes. Well, I got one more bomb into him. That feels bad. Well, this game is probably over because my team is so passive. Uh, but I don't really care because, man, this ship is pretty. 
All right, let's see. We know where the minnow... We have an idea where the minnow is. Um, we pretty much can't do anything to anybody else. Our Fletcher's committing suicide. I don't know what this is about, by the way. Moron. And our Kagero ate torpedoes from a Minotaur. We're already, like, 100,000 damage down. So, yeah. It's amazing. I'm going to try and spot this Kidda. We're going around the corner. Let's go get our secondaries into the game. Hi, Kitakazi. How you doing? Now, you're going to see very quickly that this is not... You know what I really... We really should try these against the... Um... That's actually not a bad hit. I hit 10 of those. It was 3k. That wasn't terrible. This should help. Taking fire. Let's do this. Let's do this. If my team won't cap, I will go take care of it. So much for any lock breaks. Why are my secondaries not firing? Are they broken? There we go. Now they're firing. I'm actually genuinely curious to try the secondaries on this thing. I'm not getting I'm not getting a whole lot out of them. This secondary build feels like a waste of time. My stern these these rear ones aren't even engaging. You have no idea where I am, dude. But I know where you are now. Well, guys, we drove our carry into a cap circle. That's what it took to get these guys off of high center. I could do this all day. Fun thing is, now there's a gearing over here, too. We're going to have fun with this. Come on. Uh, much better. So guys, secondary build Parsible, this is not worth it. I'm telling you right now, this is not worth it. Engaging enemy. Returning. We are under attack. So much for any I mean, I gotta kill, go me, but don't don't do this. It is absolutely not worth it. What's up, Seth? How you doing? Yeah, this is this is not. Remember how I was saying this is not GZ. This is not GZ. Okay, don't you can't treat this. You can't treat this like GZ. The secondaries are not worth investing points in. We've. I feel like we've figured. I feel like we've figured that out pretty decisively at this stage. Well, my problem is now it's like a waste of my time to be attacking anything. My team on the other flank is so bad. They're all dead. We're going to have a cap soon. I mean, yay. But... Ugh. Their carrier is so much better than me because he's so much he has so much more capability. Ah, whatever, Lang, I don't care. The team finally I led the way into the cap circle and and, and helped them kill the Kitakazi. They killed the Kitakazi because I face spotted him at two and a half kilometers. That's what it took for us to get into this cap circle. So I don't have a lot of sympathy for this team. Alright, we're gonna try the minnow again. Check the angle here. It's kinda of, kinda of challenging. Oh, now, of course, he's turning, so... And I can't get an angle on anything, because... 
How are you supposed to use these rockets when they're they're next to an island? Do you just not? Like, what the hell is that about? Alright, one of the things that always frustrated me about playing a Graf Zeppelin, or playing an Enterprise, was that you couldn't Citadel a Sodak. We're going to find out if that still holds with these bombs. Once upon a time, you could not Citadel one of these, Dan. You could not Citadel a South Dakota. Nothing you did would work. Let's find out if that's still the case. We could go into a secondary slap fight with a Massachusetts. That might be kind of fun. Uh, deadliest? Uh, debatable. The team is worse, that's for sure. All right, he's turning north. Fine. I've never been able to actually land AP bombs on a Sodak. Like, Citadel him. So let's find out if the Germans can do it where nobody else can. Engaging enemy. My money's on no, but let's find out. We're under it's one of the things that I really loathe about the Massachusetts and the Alabama, is that they're 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 immune to AP bombs, essentially. Like they still are. Okay. Lesson learned. You can citadel them with these bombs. That's good to know. Once upon a time, that was not the case. You guys enjoying feeding yourself to this Minotaur? Because that's exactly what you're about to do. He's going to torpedo you right off the board. Well, good. You killed him. Let's see if I can't kill this mass. That works, too. This The enemy team has really thrown this game away. My team was so allergic to cap circles. We accomplished so little. And now here we are. We're actually in a position to win. Alright, we got the stern flood. We're gonna try again and see if we can get one, another one. He's still flooding, he is still flooding. I think we're gonna get him. Between me and the Fletcher, we're gonna get him. Alright. That just leaves the NorCal and the San Luis up north. Uh, thank you, Big M. That's the first Citadel from an aircraft bomb I have ever, ever landed on a South Dakota. I've never, I've gone to a training room with Enterprise and Shokaku. Never, it's never happened. They were like immune to AP. You couldn't, you couldn't do it. It's nice to know that the Germans have found a way. Now, literally almost every other tier 8 battleship could be citadeled. I could citadel the bejesus out of North Carolina, out of almost everybody, right? Things are going well, Revan. How you doing? Ah, oh, Vladeshi. You're not wrong, man. I need to get me I need I have a little German engineering meme I need to have up right now, huh? All right, let's 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 test this North Carolina's AA and see how he does with my little fancy dive bombers. That's a good-looking drop. Come on. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to run right into a drop on the San Luis. Approaching target. We're under attack. I'm not going to land any of those. Yeah, bummer. The timing was perfect, but I just didn't get the angle right to, to make that drop. All right, we'll bust the torpedoes out. So, man... Um maintaining present course. First 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 thoughts on Parsable. Don't build this ship as secondaries. I think we've pretty much established that. Um 
I feel like the BF-10s, the BF you can get really good work out of these planes. Um, it's really nice to... It's, it's, the, the bombers feel better than they did on Vesser, which is not hard to do. Uh, the Dorniers and everything on Vesser are just not as good. These are really good bombers. All right, San Luis. Let me show you how this is going to work, buddy. We're going to torpedo the bejesus out of you. Or the Venezia is going to kill you. Those are your options. Well, the Venezia is going to kill you. That's fine, too. Um, so, yeah, don't do a secondary build. In fact, honestly, guys, I, with the tech tree ship, the tech tree German carriers, I would not invest anything in the secondaries. Right? Like, you're just... It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I would rather have the planes on my deck. I would. I don't mind the stealth. The stealth is okay. Um, but I would rather have uh, a, a lot of other things <laughs> than um, than the secondary build on these ships. On Zeppelin, I can see spending the points on it. Zeppelin with those 150s and everything, really good. We're not allowed to play the tier 10 yet, Shark. Not on stream. Um, she's not done yet. The 4, 6, and 8 are...